Hey what's up guys, back again with another video in the Node.js and Express series. This time I'm going to teach you how to update and edit the games on the website. Alright guys, so let's get started here. Um, basically what I'm going to do is make it so that we can click a edit button next to one of the games and then it will allow you to edit the games, like the data for the games on the website so that you can uh, update the website and then um, it will send the data to the database so that it reads the new data and all that fun stuff. So it's just basically editing and updating the data that we have in the database so that we can uh, change a title, change uh, the size of the game, anything like that if we need to. Okay. So of course, make sure the um, the website's running by doing nodemon or node app.js, whatever you want to do to run the website. Just make sure it's running, and then pull it up just to make sure it's still working. All right, it looks good to me. So we have the games here. Uh, if we get it to load, that looks like we have an error for some reason. Okay, I fixed the problem. It's able to now authenticate to the MLab server. So now we can see here that we have all the games set up. And so yeah, what I want to do basically is have a button right here where you can click edit on any of the games and then it'll take you to the edit page for that game so that you can edit the data for the game. So let's go ahead and set that up. So first let's create that button that I just said. So we'll go to um, list because that's going to be where they list all the games. And let's create another button here. So we have the play game button. Let's try making another one right next to it. And instead of play game, we'll say edit just like that. And let's see if that works. It's going to automatically update, of course, because I'm using Nodemon. All right, so it looks good. We have the edit button here, so we can just click edit, and it should take us to the edit page, which we have not set up yet, but that's what it should do. So that's pretty cool. So let's change the route here, and we'll just set the ID to, I mean, the route to slash game slash edit, and then we'll put the ID right here. So um, we'll just pass the ID right here. We'll just take this copy and then paste it right there so yeah that's the route we'll be using slash game slash edit and then the id at the end okay so let's go ahead and make that route in our app.js so we'll go down here to the right here we'll just put it right here so we'll do app.get and we'll say slash game slash edit then slash id as a route parameter of course and then now we need our callback function so rec response and there we go so now we're gonna get the ID from the the uh, route parameter. So rec params the ID. Okay. So there we go. So now that we have the ID of the book that we're trying to edit, right? Because it, we're providing the ID with the edit route, we can take that ID and look for the game and grab the data from the game on the database, right? So basically, we're just gonna copy this exactly because we're gonna be taking that um, piece of code that is able to find the game, and then we're just taking all that data and then we're gonna send it to the edit route once we make it. So we're going to send all that data to the edit route, which is going to be a form that lets you edit basically the, the data of the game, right? So we don't need to pass this. That's really not needed, the file name. But we need this important data here, the title, the creator, the width, and the height. We're going to make it so that they can edit that data and then uh, update it if they want to, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. So we need to actually create the uh, the edit page, of course. So um, edit.ejs, just like that. So there we go. And um, of course, we already have a form for creating games and then having all that data which is going to be the add game form. So we can just pretty much just copy this and then edit it to whatever we need it to look like. So we'll just copy that and put it right here. And let's just change this to, instead of add a game here, we'll say edit this game. There we go. So let's go ahead and check this out to make sure it looks good. And of course it pulled up the edit form. That's perfect. So it works perfectly fine. And so now let's make it so that it takes all that data from the database and plugs it in, into each of these thingies as default values. And we, we can get rid of this because we're not going to make it so that they, they can change the files yet. Maybe we'll do that another time, but right now we're not going to work on that. So anyway, let's just get rid of this, um, the file stuff. We don't need that, like I said. So boom, now that's gone. And then now let's take all the, the data that we found from the database and then plug it into these input boxes, okay, so that they can uh, edit basically, right? So instead of placeholder, we'll do value. So that's how you set a, a preset value. So value, and then we'll just do, uh, oops, let's get rid of that. And we'll just plug in title just like that. As you can see here, we made it so that we pass the title into here, right? We found the title from the database, and then we pass it into the edit.ejs page as a title variable. And so now we're taking that variable and then passing it and se uh, setting it as a value, right? So now if we go back to the website and reload here, we can see that we have learned to fly, learned to fly five as a title here, right? And so, so we'll do the same thing for creator size and I mean the width and the height, right? So let's do all of that. Um, let's just copy this pretty much. 
boom, 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 okay? And so, let's see, so creator, and the point of doing this, the point of, you know, putting these values in there as like a, a preset value is because, of course, they're editing the game that's already there, right? So they're editing the values that already exist. So if we were going to leave it blank, that wouldn't be editing. That would be basically creating a new game, right? So hopefully that makes sense. So with height, and there we go. So now we can go ahead and check this out. And it should have all the preset values. So reload. And now we see learn to fly, learn to fly 5, Lightbringer 777, 640 by 480. And so now what we want to do is make it so that they can change any of these values here. And then click submit, and then it's going to update it inside the database, right? So it's going to change that data to show the new data that was just changed, right? So let's try doing that, right? So what we need to do here is make it so that, um, you know, we're sending this data to the route. So we're going to make a route here. So basically, if we look down here on the on the create game form, on the add game form, we made it so that, so whenever they, whenever they post it, add game, they're going to create the game in the database and do all that stuff like that. So let's make a new post route just for editing the game, right? Or updating the game. We'll call it update since we're updating it in the database. So app.post, and we'll say update. And then we'll give it an ID so it knows which game to update in the database, of course. And so we'll do callback function here. All right, so there we go. And so now we're going to look inside the database. All right, so that should work perfectly. And now let's go ahead and take the ID. Awesome, there we go. So that's how that should work. So that should work perfectly. Now we're updating it. So now that we have this route here that's going to update the game for us, let's go ahead and set it right here. So we'll say update. And then, of course, we need the ID, but we haven't provided the ID. So we need to go back here and send the ID as a route parameter or as a, well, I don't know what you would call this. I forgot, but whatever you're passing. But basically, we just need to pass it in there, right? So we're going to do ID, ID, just like that. So now we're passing the ID of the book that we found, I mean, the game that we found into the edit page. So now we can just take it and put it right here so whenever we're done we could post it to the slash update route basically okay so id just like that so that should work now so if we go back here well actually let's set this to do something so we know that it works so we'll do res.send updating book something like that all right so we'll make sure it works now so we'll go back here now we're going to reload or we'll just go from the beginning so click any game that you want to edit and then click edit and now all the data pops up pops up and then now you can edit whatever you want super fighters blah 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 and now click submit and now it should send us to the slash update and then the ID route of that route of that game, I mean. And now it says updating book. So that means it worked perfectly, right? It's, it's now able to send us to that route. So now what we need to do is take this ID here, find the game inside the database, and then update it with the new data that we just uh, you know posted with the route, okay? And so the main part we have to know here, the hard part at least, is going to be how, how do you update something within the database if it's already there, okay? So there's a special method just for doing that. It's called the find one and update method. So it's going to find one uh, game and then update it basically. Okay. So let me show you. So we'll call upon the game object. So game dot and now we can do find one and update. So this is going to find one uh, of the documents and then update it, of course. So and then it takes three parameters. The first parameter is going to be the ID of the book or whatever we're going to use to find the book. And so we can provide the ID. Or not the book. I'm sorry. You know what I mean, book. I mean a uh, game. So we're going to provide the ID to find the game. So we're going to plug in ID just like that, which is going to be the query that we use to find the game, I guess you could say. And so now after that, we want to provide an object, which is basically going to be the object with the data that we want to replace within the document. Okay. So we're going to put an object here and we'll say title and title is going to be equal to rec body and then title. Okay. So if you're wondering where I got rec body title from, that is going to be from our edit page here we're taking the rec body which is going to be the post request so we're taking title from the post request and then we're setting it to title within this object that we're creating okay so that's where the data is coming from in case you don't know we're just taking the data from the post request after we submit the form for the update page right so we're going to do that so title and then creator so rec uh, body creator and then finally we need the width and the height so width rec body width and then height rec body height so we're taking all that data and then putting it into this object, which is going to be sent into this new document that we're trying to update, okay? And then so finally, for the last parameter, is going to be our callback function. So rec, I mean function, and we need an error, so error, and then finally we need a, the, um, it's going to, and then finally for the second uh, parameter of the callback function, that function that's going to be the, the game that was updated basically, okay? So we're going to just say updated game. 
So if you want to print that out just for verification, we can do that if we want to. So anyway, we're going to open that up now. And then we're going to do if there's an error, then we're going to say, oops, not error, error ERR in this case, because that's what we named it. So we're going to say uh, couldn't update game. And then we're just going to go ahead and print out the error so we know what it was. And then after that, I mean, so after that, if there was not an error, so else, we could say res.redirect, and then we could say uh, redirect us to the list page, so it's going to take us to the to the page that it lists all the books on. So that's where it's going to take us, and then let's also print out um, updated book, I mean updated game, and we'll just put, uh, put that right there, so updated game, just like that. So now it's just going to basically print out the game that was just updated just for verification inside the console. So I know that was a lot. Basically, we're just finding a document within the, the database, which is going to be our game. Of course, we're providing the ID to be able to locate it. And then once we located it, we're going to update it with these with this object here, which is going to hold some of the data that we want to update. And then finally, we have our callback function, okay, which is simple enough. And then it's just, and then if it worked correctly, it should redirect us to the list page, and then it should print out in the console the game, or the yeah, the game that was updated, okay? So let's just go and try all that out. Go to the website here, and we'll go to, we'll go to the list page here. We'll just click games, and then now let's try editing one of the games. So continuity, continuity, let's try editing that one. So edit, and then we'll just say um, Billy Bob the third. There we go. So that's the new title of our game, and we'll change the author to Cody is cool that's the new author of this game and if we want to we can change the size but i'm not going to so submit and now it should take us to the list page and it did exactly so let's go ahead and check the console to make sure that worked and it says updated game okay for some reason it didn't update the right game it updated this first game instead of continuity the one i clicked on i'm pretty sure that's the one i clicked on i did i think so it updated that one for some reason, so let's try and figure out why it did that. Okay, so I seem to have found the problem here. I was before using the uh, method here called find one, or yeah, find one and update, but instead since you're providing the ID as a search parameter, as a search query to find the document, you want to use find by ID and update um, instead, okay? So just make sure you do that, and then now it's gonna be able to work, okay? So if you reload here, and we find any game that we wanna change, like continuity, like we were trying to do before, click edit, and then we can change it to uh, Cody is cool, and then we'll give it the creator name of uh, Booty, and then we'll do we'll just change it to like 800 by 1000, something crazy, something stupid, and then we'll click submit, and now it should update that. And now it says Cody is cool, and then game created by Booty. Now we'll click play game, and now the the dimensions are really weird now. So anyway, I hope this concept makes sense, being able to edit documents and edit the games within our website so that the um, so that the um, person can change it later on if they want to change the name of the game or anything like that. So I hope you like it. If you have any questions about what we did, you can ask a question in the comment section below. Or you can join our Discord. There's a Discord link in the description below. If you want to join our Discord, ask questions, hang out with us, anything you want to do, make sure you do that. And uh, yeah, so all the code from today's episode is going to be in the description also. There's a, there's a GitLab link there for you, so you can check out all the code from today's episode so make sure you check it out and bookmark it for future reference in case you forget how to do something like this so anyway if you like this video leave a like if you want to see more subscribe and peace